Hey, Dr. Josh Axe here, doctor of natural medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. Hey, in this video, I'll talk about how to smell good naturally. I'm even gonna go over how to make your own homemade deodorant using less than five ingredients, plus the best essential oils you can use to help yourself smell amazing and talk about a few things dietarily as well. Now, here's the first thing I wanna tell you when it comes to uh, sweat facts. Sweat has a mild detoxification benefits, not major actually, but some mild ones. Sweat itself is fairly odorless when your skin is clean, but once bacteria or bad bacteria builds up on an area of your body and mixes with odor, that's when you can start to get body odor that can be pretty bad. You know, the sweatiest areas of your body are obviously your armpits by far is number one, followed by your feet, back, chest, and even between your legs. Now, body odors change throughout your life cycle uh, there as well as you age, and stress hormones smells worse. If you have a really high cortisol levels and stress hormones, that'll actually make your body odor even worse. And only 2% of people carry a gene that eliminates armpit smell. Um, and just to mention here, uh, there are certain types of microbes and bad bacteria that contain sulfur components that can cause body odor as well. And one of the things before I jump into essential oils is I do wanna mention diet. You wanna consume a diet that is rich in plants, very high in vegetables and herbs, and plants that are high in chlorophyll. So that's things like wheatgrass juice, it's allergies like spirulina and chlorella, it's a lot of spinach and kale, um, romaine lettuce, um, things that are green, fresh parsley and cilantro are super high. Parsley, one of the highest in chlorophyll there as well. Very detoxifying, very cleansing to the body. So doing veggie juices with things like, uh, you know, um, celery and cucumber, uh, and then lots of these organic greens, a little ginger, peppermint can be great for cleansing your body. But again, lots of plants about four ounce serving of organic meat, small amount of fat, but if you go too high in sugar and fat in general or processed foods, that's when you'll really start to build up a lot of that bad bacteria and body odor as well. So make those dietary changes and let's start using the following essential oils. Number one is bergamot oil. You may not be aware of this, but bergamot oil is one of the top five essential oils that has been used in perfumes and colognes since the beginning of time. So even today, when, when you have a man or woman putting on a perfume or, deo, or, a, or a cologne, bergamot or that compound, delimonene and the other compounds in bergamot are oftentimes synthetic, but they took an idea from bergamot to use as a natural cologne or perfume. So bergamot oil, you can apply it directly to armpits, Many, these combine really, really well, bergamot does, with uh, wood-scented oils, especially for a male deodorant like sandalwood or cedarwood, if you want a little bit more of a masculine smell there. Um, again, you can personalize your own fragrance, and also avoid direct sunlight for 12 hours. So listen, if you are gonna use bergamot topically, don't go in the sun, because again, citrus oils can give you a little bit of sensitivity to light. The next one here is tea tree oil, also known as melaleuca. Now the big benefit here is very gentle on the skin, but powerful antimicrobial benefits. So if you tend to, you know that you've got really strong body odor and you need something to kill off the bad bacteria that's built up on your body, melaleuca is probably the best or tea tree oil here. Uh, it destroys skin odor causing microbes. Combine five drops with a teaspoon of either a baking soda and coconut oil and apply mixture to armpits. So it's this easy. I mean, I've done this, you know, I've made my own homemade deodorant. I'll show you here in a minute. And sometimes you can make your own what's called a pit paste where you just take coconut oil, baking soda, your favorite essential oils. Typically, again, you'll do five drops compared to one teaspoon of a mixture of baking soda, coconut oil, and just use that pit paste right in your armpit. Very effective, easy way to do make your own at home natural remedy fast. Now patchouli oil can be used naturally to mask body odor, okay? So it's sort of like, uh, again, can mask things. Sweat, it's a, sort of a spicy, sweet and spicy aroma. Apply one to two drops to armpits mixed with just a pinch of coconut oil can be very uh, effective. Now it may inhibit blood clotting. So again, if you are on a blood clotting medication or a blood thinner, you may stay away from patchouli oil or just ask your healthcare professional. Now lemongrass oil is a natural safe deodor deodorizer. Now my wife and I, uh, Dr. Chelsea Axe, 
We actually, whenever we're doing a bar class or Pilates or yoga or any type of class we're using a mat, we've done a mixture of lemongrass oil with a little vinegar and water and spray down our, our, our mats with those. So again, we know it's very effective at killing off bad bacteria, very fresh scent. It is a little overpowering though. So if you love the scent of lemongrass, go for it. If you don't, this may not be your oil of choice. And also this is an oil you should not use during pregnancy because of how it can influence hormones. Now, here is a DIY deodorant recipe that you can follow, okay? Half a cup of baking soda, half, uh, or sorry, fourth a cup of baking soda, fourth a cup of coconut oil, fourth a cup of grated beeswax, fourth a cup of shea butter, three tablespoons of arrowroot powder, and four, 40 drops of your favorite essential oil. Now, again, some of my favorites in terms of more feminine scents might include ylang ylang, jasmine, lavender, and lemon. Male scents or masculine scents could be sandalwood, bergamot, black pepper, and cypress are some of my favorites. I would say cedarwood there as well. And this is something my wife and I, Chelsea, have done on a regular basis. We make our own homemade deodorants, use them all the time. And, uh, and anyways, so again, and, and again, you can mix it up. You can just add a single essential oil or not use an essential oil and just go neutral. Or if you want something that's close to neutral, just use a little bit of bergamot is good. And I actually think that sandalwood can kind of go both ways. It, it could be used as more of a feminine or male scent. Uh, so again, sandalwood and bergamot together creates a really, really great scent, both for men and women there as well. Again, really easy to make. Pretty much the way you're gonna make this, you're gonna take these ingredients, you're gonna throw them in a pot together, you're gonna melt them. So basically what you do, you're gonna take a stainless steel pot, you'll take another glass pot, you'll put it in there, you'll melt the ingredients, and then you'll pour them into an old deodorant stick. It's that easy, or into a container if you're gonna make it into a pit paste, that's how easy it is to make that deodorant. Really, really simple DIY recipe. And hey, if you want to actually check out, I have multiple deodorant recipes. You can visit my website, draxe.com. Just go to draxe.com or Google search Dr. Axe deodorant and you'll find more information there. But again, remember these great essential oils for naturally supporting you smelling good, okay? Bergamot, tea tree oil, patchouli, and lemongrass and other great scents can include lavender and sandalwood as some of our favorites. Favorites. And hey, if you're not subscribed here to my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe. I've got a lot more videos coming out on essential oils, herbal remedies, and how to use food as medicine. I hope you've enjoyed this video on the best essential oils to improve your odor. Hi, Dr. Axe here. I want to say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.